Hi, welcome to Siemens NX 2007 video tutorial. It's one of my basic part design exercises. A sweep, an extrusion with an offset, a hole and a spiral pattern. So, let's have fun with Siemens NX. Okay, let's start with the sketch on the YZ plane. That would be the right plane. Okay. I need a profile which should look something like this here. Okay, let's go for one like that and I will need a circle. That circle should be put onto that line and maybe like this. If I trim, I will lose the constraint between the center of that arc and that line. So I will do, I want to trim. So let's trim like this and I will need a construction line from this point to that center of that arc. Otherwise that sketch will not be fully defined. Now let's add some dimensions. So this distance here should be 40. And of course I want to rescale that sketch with the first dimension. Let's move it over here. Then another dimension. This distance should be 11. Okay. This distance here should be 22. Let's see what will happen. Yeah, it's okay. And another dimension should be here. This should be 11 as well. Okay, nice. Let's move this a little bit up. And that radius here should be 51. Okay, now let's align. Oh yeah. That distance should be 2.5. Now let's align this line with that sketch axis. It should be collinear. Same here, align this line with that sketch axis. It should be collinear as well. That sketch is fully defined. So finish this sketch here. Okay, the second sketch should be on the XY plane, but you have to draw it in a certain way, otherwise it will not work. That's kind of crazy, considering how powerful Siemens NX really is. But it is like it is, so let's start with the sketch on that top plane here, and confirm. And this should look something like this. Like that, then go here and close it here. Now, this should be symmetric to that sketch axis. And of course, there should be some sort of tangency here. Otherwise, it will not work. Yes, that's okay. Is it now tangent? I hope so. And now I go for symmetry. Let's make it symmetric. So, this one here and that one should be symmetric to this. Uh, access. Apply and of course this one here and that one here should be again symmetric to the same. Apply. Now let's move this a little bit up if possible. No, not like that. So I have to add dimensions to make it work. So that radius should be 51. Let's see what will happen if we scale it like that. Yes, so that's really big. Now, from this line to that line, it should be 108. Okay. And from this point here to that line, it should be maybe 108 as well. Okay, now from that arc center here, try to snap, 
to this line it might be 280. Now let's align it with the axis system, the sketch axis system. So this one should be put right onto this one, collinear. And that arc center should be right here. So let's try to snap it. This one should be on this one, coincident. So this sketch will not work because it's just one closed profile doesn't work. Therefore, I want to split it or trim it and redraw it. And I, I want to make it symmetric. Otherwise, I will get again some problems. So let's put here a line, which is just for the trim. So make it for construction only. And now trim this side. Okay. And of course, you could mirror it. That would be an idea. If you mirror that curve here, so go for, let's see, connected curves, that's okay. And the center line would be this one here. No persistent relations will be created. Okay, let's go for K. Okay. And let's trim this one like that and add the missing dimensions. So this here should be 180, that's okay. Let's just confirm it. So it's persistent like that. This distance here should be 180 as well. Radius is okay. So it should be fully defined. Yes, it is. Finish that sketch and now it should work. Let's see. Let's go for curve or multiple surface more. That would be the sweep along guide. So that's the section and this would be the guide and it works and confirm. Otherwise it will not work if you do it in one profile. Now I want to close it at the top and I want to make it with an extrude and sort of two offsets. So let's go for an extrude. And the values are still there. That's kind of neat, but in this case not. So I will make this zero and this one's zero as well. So it's uh, clearly visible what will happen. So let's select this sketch. Okay. It makes a block. That block should be 40. Okay, but I have to go with the start up. So I get a plate which is only 11 millimeter thick. So I go for 29 and 40, which gives me this. And then I want to go inside, and therefore I want to use a single sided offset. And that one should be minus 22. And if everything works well, it should close this up. Great. So now for my spiral pattern, I want to use a hole and I want to use a 3D point, a reference point, because I like to do holes like this. So let's go for our curves, go for a point that would be on the y-axis and that distance might be 100 and confirm. Now I could do a hole with that point. So go for, where's the hole tool? There you are. Select the point. That would be the existing point, yes. And I want to go for a whole diameter of six. That's okay. And I need a direction. And the direction could be the normal to this plane here. It should go up until next. This, that's okay. And confirm. Nice. And now for the spiral pattern with the pattern feature in NX, it's no problem at all. So go to pattern feature. Select the spiral pattern, select the feature, that would be this feature here. 
the plane normal would be this one here this one and the reference vector would be the same like that so i want to go for maybe four turns that's okay maybe left hand yes i will need to rotate it a little bit but first change those values radial pitch is the distance between those uh, how should I call it, rows, and that would be the distance between the instances. So maybe go for 10. Yeah, this looks nice. And the rotation angel angle might be 80, because otherwise it will start here or there, and this looks much better. So I think that's okay, and confirm. Now, I don't want this first one here. So let's try to delete, delete this hole, go for delete, go for hole select face and make it heal. So I don't need the first, the original one. So is there something, not a clone select face, I can't select it, why? Heal is okay, preview, face or plane. Select holes by size. Doesn't work right now, so let's cancel this and make the hole a little bit smaller and delete it afterwards. Make it five. That should give me the needed distance, yes. And now I should be able to delete that hole. Yes, hole, select face, face, when to find clone. I don't need the clone, I need just this one here, like that. And OK. And now let's maybe change this back to 6 millimeter if possible. Let's see if it works. Yes. OK. And I'm done. So I hope it was helpful. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. This would really help. And you could follow me also on Facebook, Instagram, GrabCat and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.